Dear Journal, I really messed up this time. It all started when I went to Wit's End last week. Greetings, Miss Shepard. Hi, Eugene. Hi, Lisa. Sorry I'm late. I was beginning to worry. What happened? <sighs> what didn't happen? First I yelled at Bethany, so Mom made me watch her shoe and saddle all her imaginary horses. Then I had to fix a flat on my bike, which was a total waste since halfway here the wheel fell off. So I had to walk the rest of the way, and now I have blisters on my heels because my shoes are hand-me-downs and too big for me. Oh, I hate being poor. Then you'll want to hear about Mr. Whitaker's new room. What new room? Now, ladies, simply because Mr. Whitaker has been ensconced for the past several days in a room with a rather emphatic pronouncement posted on the entrance saying, and I quote, Please keep out! Does not mean it is anything about which intelligent people need to be the least bit concerned. Yes, Eugene. However, in the interest of free expression, what have you heard? Well, Liz thinks the room's full of rare paintings. Mm. Sarah's sure it's gold sculptures. Mm. Nathaniel believes it's stacks and stacks of $100 bills. Mm. Personally, I'm leaning towards valuable archaeological finds. Mm. Mr. Whitaker is really that well off? He only owns an encyclopedia company, right, Eugene? Well, actually, Universal Press is a broad-ranging publishing and media concern. Oh, so encyclopedias make a lot of money? <laughs> Do they? When Susie Schmidt left the Q Encyclopedia on the bus last year, Mrs. Thurston said that if she couldn't find it, she would owe the school $67. And that was just the Q. Think how much the T would cost. And with all his inventions and writing and archaeological digs and wit's end, he must be practically a billionaire. Maybe even a zillionaire. I hardly think he's worth that amount. Well, but he is loaded, right? Well, it's no secret that Mr. Whitaker is, um, comfortable. See? And I think you ladies should cease this conversation before it takes you to a place you do not wish to go. Remember the words of the Bacchic. His greed is as wide as Sheol, and like death, is never satisfied. If you'll excuse me. Boy, what he said. Please, like we need advice from some shawl-wearing guy named Tobacco. Yeah, Mr. Whitaker is rich. You know, if I had that much money, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. I could buy whatever I wanted, even without a coupon. <laughs> <laughs>